All right, today we're gonna to be making a value scale using paint. So value is, and we'll write this down later, value is usually lights and darks. So when we're talking about value with color, there's a few terms to represent that. If I say the word hue, I mean a color the way it is. So I have orange, green, and blue here. You might have different colors, but that is the hue. The hue is not touched by any other of our colors. Tint is a color plus white. Shade is a color plus black. So we're going to be making boxes that have hues in them, boxes that have tints, color and is lightened by white, and colors that are darkened by adding black. So you have a piece of cardboard and this diagram. What I want you to do is write your name on whatever side you want the back and your teacher. On the front, you're gonna put your cardboard onto this piece of paper and kind of use it as a guide to draw boxes. So you can see I have four across and I have six down. If you don't get that many today, it's okay. So you kind of use this, like you're playing Battleship, you go across and down to kind of line up generally where your boxes should be. Now, if you look at this diagram, each of your boxes will end up being a little plant. So you wanna make sure that there's enough room above them to create some sort of plant coming out of it. So if it doesn't completely line up with mine, that is okay. And as you can see, they do not have to be perfect. They just have to be boxy and in a row. Now, as supplies are being passed out, once you have finished your boxes, you can start adding plants to them. So you can look at mine for examples, or you can use your imagination, but you can start drawing plants inside of these little planting boxes, I'm trying to be inspired by spring. Plants could be as simple as just different kinds of lines. So I could do zigzag lines and that could represent a plant. Like I said, you can copy mine or you can do your own. You can make imaginative plants. And once again, if you're not done, when we move on to the next step, we'll have us again for another week to kind of work on it.
All right, so we're gonna move on to making value. We're gonna start with your top color. Now there's two piles of each of the hue, remember hue is the color. And first we're going to make some tints. The rule is that you always mix the dark into the light. So out of blue and white, what's darker? If you said blue, you're right. So you take a dot of blue, like a little bit, and you mix it in the white. When I mix, I like to try to push the paint towards the middle of the pile. So I kind of scrape up the sides and push it to the middle. That will help my um, paint area not get too big. Once you have a nice light blue, go ahead and paint your first box or a tint, a very light color of whatever color you're using. Now this being a value scale, we're going to try to make it slightly darker in each box. So I'm going to take some more blue and add it to my color. Now I might not want to mix the whole pile because it might not change too much or enough, but you're going to mix until you get another light blue that is slightly darker, but not too far away. So actually I am going to mix my whole pile for mine. Oh, you know what? That was not quite different enough. I'm going to mix a little bit on this side here. Oops, that's too different. All right, so you're experimenting, trying to find a good kind of middle or next step of your color in the tint. So this one's like almost white. And because this paint is already white, you probably want to wipe your brush after you wash it. I'm going to, um, I'm not going to go all the way over to my other blue, but I'm going to mix another kind of section of blue and try to make a little bit darker blue. And then I'm going to make one that's almost the normal hue blue. All right, so those are my tints. And our goal is to just experiment to see if we can make even steps. If you can't, that's okay. Um, planters don't have to be a specific color, um, but this is us practicing mixing tints and shades so that way when we do our real project, we're a little better than before. All right, so those are tints, color plus white, shade or color plus black. Before we start making shades of blue, let's do this first planter just normal hue blue. So nothing added, just blue. Wash your brush and dry it. Then for shade, what is darker, black or blue? If you said black, you are right. You're going to add even less, like so tiny. It will start to take over the blue. You take a very tiny, tiny dot of black and you will mix it into the pure blue. You should get nowhere near your white pile side because it will actually turn to something different, which is called a tone. So you just want that pure blue. You want to add a tiny bit of black. Actually, I'm going to add a tiny bit more. You're going to make it a little bit darker, just a little bit. brush, dry it. Okay, and I'm gonna make a darker blue, add a little bit more black, and get a little braver. Oh, it really takes over though. I'm gonna make a very, I don't know if you can even see that. It's like super navy, kind of grayish. And the last one's gonna be so dark that it probably will just kind of look black. So I'm gonna add a lot of black to my rest of my blue pile. And that is a very dark shade of blue but blue nonetheless. You will continue that with your other colors. You will ask yourself, okay, I'm doing tint, which is a color plus white. The color is gonna be darker, so I put that into the white. I will mix and I will try to move the color to the middle. 
so I don't spread it out too much. That's a very light tint of green. That will be my first box. Wash and dry my brush. The next green needs to be a little darker. I will take a scoop of green, add it to my tint pile. I will mix maybe not all of it, but some of it to try to get a slightly darker green. Pushing it towards the middle so my pile doesn't get too big. I will try to make a darker green. I'm still only using this green on my, the side that's near my white so that way my other green stays pure hue. I will make a slightly darker one. It's okay if it does not look like a nice even step. The goal is to experiment and try to get different tints with white and different shades with black. That one is almost pure hue green. I will start my shades. I will use normal green first. I want one box to be the hue and black is darker than green. I will add black to my green that has not been touched by white. And I will make these darker and darker like forest greens. A very light orange. My lightest tint. I will try to make a little slightly darker orange, but it's still light with the white. I will try to make it a little darker by adding more orange. I will add a lot more orange and it's almost going to be pure orange, but there's a little bit of white in it. So it doesn't look quite the same as my normal paint. My next row will start with the hue, just the color orange, nothing added. I will add a tiny dot of black. It will get kind of neutralized pretty quick. <laughs> oh, that's not really that bad. It might start looking brown. It's a nice kind of umber pottery color, something you might actually see in a garden. Actually, you'd see all these colors in the garden, but sometimes pottery is more earthy like this. If it's ending or getting to the end of class and you have a lot more pots, if you do at least one of these, you're in good shape. Um, if you get to the end and you have time, you want to add some of these colors to your actual plants themselves. You can do that. It's kind of nice to spread around the colors. You can also mix new colors. Let's make a teal. Why not? A blue green. How pretty. Okay, let's see here. This could be a succulent. Hmm. You could decorate the pottery. Maybe some of these darker colors would be good to Add little dots, little lines. Maybe these lighter colors could add some nice accents to my darker shades. It's up to you how you want to do that. Some colors are not going to play nice together. Uh, orange and 
Orange and green shouldn't play nice. They might make kind of a, a muddy. Actually, it's kind of nice. It's like a super grassy color. Maybe this is my super grassy color. Kind of cactusy color. That's a cactus. All right, when you're done today, I will have to come get these. You can, well actually, she'll probably, she'll almost like say as a class, you could use this as your mess mat. Um, I will put these on the drying rack. You can take this, fold it, and put it with your stuff in your folder. Your paint brushes can go into your paint tray and closed. So your cleanup should look like this. You'll have these paint brushes in here, that in there, and I'll pick up this for the drying rack. These things can go away into your specials folder.